guys check out this before so we have been doing white blonde on her for probably close to a year now so she's wanting something different wanting to change it up so basically what she wants to do is she kind of wants like a dark rooted um not too dark but she wants it kind of melted down into like a nice blonde i'll post the picture of what kind of her goal was and what we ended up getting um so right now what i'm doing is i'm breaking the base with 8bb obviously you know her hair is naturally dark and so some people would ask me why would you break the base at this point but you see how far her roots are i haven't seen her in two months so in this i need to make sure that i have enough of a softer line so that when i go in there with a the dark i'm not having to deal with her root being so far because she doesn't want it too dark at the root she just wants a little kind of root um like like half inch so i'm going through with 8bb with jacqueline pro um and i am lifting that base uh just to kind of like 10 minutes i'm not wanting to get it to a blonde i'm just wanting to soften that root up um, and of course the BB is double ash. So that prevents any kind of warmth at that root um, that I could control. Because again, you know, if I'm lifting from any point of a um, level five and below, I'm gonna get warm. So that ash is just gonna combat that. Okay, so this is the result of doing the eight BB on her roots. And so I did that with 20 volume. And if only you guys, if I could keep the audio on this video, because this client is hilarious. And she was talking about, oh yes, gold, gold, yes. All that everyone wants to know that, why did you lift my roots to gold? The importance of this, and the reason why I decided to show this part, is because I have to break up that dark. So I talked about that earlier on in the video, about the importance of how dark her roots was. And she's really wanting a very seamless, nice, soft blend because we're trying to tone down that white. So what I'm doing here is I'm just parting her off and I'm focusing on her roots at this point. Um, and I'm going to post the formula on this video on the screen of what I did for this. Okay, so now I have fast forwarded it to the part where I'm actually going to start blending the color that I'm trying to transition down into. So the roots, I did a 7B from Jack Wynn, and that's a 7 ash. Again, she doesn't want her, dark, her roots black, but she wants it dark enough. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting that piece of foil to protect the blonde, blonde, blonde pieces. Now, I will warn you, I am a very messy stylist, so I'm trying to do better, and clean sectioning is always important when it comes to these kind of techniques, especially when you're trying to get a very soft blend. So what I'm doing now is I am dragging that initial root color down. So I'm going up underneath the hair, not just on top. So I'm making sure that I have good saturation, especially when I'm trying to cover that gold, because even though that I was trying to break that base, I have to combat warmth now, because I've created that problem for myself by breaking up that base. So now I'm going in there, and I'm going in there with a 7 Ash, which is a 7B in Jacqueline color, and I'm going up under, underneath these panels. Um, to really define and saturate that root line. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the blend and that transition line. So now that we have the 7B on the roots, which is a 7 ash, I'm now going in with an 8BG, which is a gold, okay? So 
what this kind of is is kind of like a champagne color and that is kind of what she was wanting to go for she really kind of wanted that iridescent um believable blonde that had a little bit of a golden undertone but not too gold so the 8bg series is ash gold so your ash is going to be your primary and because her hair was so white right i have to put a little bit more gold than i would ash so what i went in and did is i added a 7g to the formula just like a half ounce and that created a little bit of warmth but not too much where it still had that ash and still had that nice blonde so what i'm doing now is i'm blending that root and with my comb so basically all i'm doing is is going through there and blending that line out so i'm dragging it and giving it more of a softer natural look then versus just doing it solely with my hand um, it's just another way to transition that line and really make sure that you have good authentic blend so that's what we're doing here for this part So because I am a perfectionist, I had to go back in there because when I rinsed her out, I still saw a little bit too much gold at the root. And I just knew that over a period of time when it faded, it wasn't going to fade pretty. So what I did was I went back in with the Envelop series, which is Jack Wynn's permanent line, 5N. I did equal parts of 5N and their Dark Ash Additive. And this is how I got, this is why it looks green, but it's toning all that gold and so I drag it just a little bit to blend in with what we've already done what this is the final product guys it turned out beautiful it's the exact champagne color that she's wanting we toned down that white iciness because she's trying to go something for a little bit more low maintenance and guys this color turned out beautiful let me know what you guys think